Okay, I'm having an issue with the front suspension. So I called in Tesla and uh, they sent a tow truck. They're gonna take the car in. Put the car in tow mode. So. There comes the tow truck. And uh, let's make sure it's in tow mode. It's ready to be towed. This was a little bit painful process to get the towing company here because uh, at first they said the towing won't be covered by Tesla because uh, this uh, repair was not included and then I had to prove it to them that my car is covered under warranty and uh, they should be covering this so going back and forth you know uh, they finally agreed that yes it is covered so there it is we're gonna put it on the truck and hopefully everything goes smooth from there okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Oh, I guess he wants me to drive it up there. Come up. All right. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Good. All right, so put in park and uh, let's see. I guess that's pretty much it. Let the brakes go. Parking? Yeah. Offloading it at Tesla Service Center. I guess it's stuck.
trying to summon it down, but it wouldn't do it. So let's see. Stone. I'm gonna go ahead and park it and then take it inside. Okay, so the car is here, and I just like to make a video of it before I hand over the car just to show there was no damage or anything. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, so I'm in the service center waiting. And they're gonna take my car in and fix the suspension issue. So hopefully it'll get fixed. They'll give me a loaner. The issue that they're saying it's a pretty common issue on the car. And uh, so the suspension issue, they mentioned that they're gonna have to order some parts and uh, it might take a while for them to get the parts and then uh, fix it, so we'll see how long it takes but uh hopefully they uh, place the order and fix the car soon okay so finally i'm in my loaner and uh they gave me a model 3 and uh good good car i mean this doesn't have all the bells and whistles like uh, the model s but you know it's uh, it's not not a bad car you know for the price that you pay for this car is uh, i think it's still amazing so but anyways, hope I'm hoping uh, that they're gonna fix my car pretty soon. Uh, according to the uh, service advisor, they had ordered some parts. I think the stabilizer link and uh, something with the air suspension that they had already placed the order in advance. Uh, but uh, the part, you know, that was broken. I'll post a picture here so you guys can see which part was broken. But that uh, part that they may have to order it because uh, they weren't expecting that. I think that happened after uh, I created my service ticket for having abnormal um, vibration and um, the noise that was coming from the front suspension. So um, not sure if it was the same issue or it was two different issues and, uh, you know, end up breaking one of the part, but I'm not exactly sure. So hopefully they'll fix it and, uh, you know, I'll make another video when I go pick up my car and uh, I'll try to talk to them and see what they what they replaced. But uh, make sure if you guys do have a suspension issues, uh, make sure you tell your service advisor that you want uh, an alignment done because anytime they work on a, a suspension, they have to align it because if they don't, um, you know, it won't be covered. So my service advisor was saying that, oh yeah, we're, we're gonna give you a code and we'll let you know how it goes and uh, I'll send you a code of uh, what is it gonna cost us and stuff like that. But I told them that I shouldn't be paying for that alignment, you know, because, uh, Initially, my car is under warranty and uh, they are the one who are fixing it under warranty. So they're the one working on the suspension. I had no needs to work on the suspension that would mess up my um, alignment. So they should be the one covering it. And, uh, you know, so I told my service advisor I had to argue about it. But, um, you know, you got the point. Okay, so I just uh, got my car back and they replaced uh, the suspension part. I'm going to show you guys on the screen you know what part they replace you know what they showed me on the app uh, they in fact end up replacing both sites and uh, you know one of the interesting thing they called me and asked me that uh, um, he just called me casually and said uh, oh so what happened you know did you did you hit a pothole or something and I told him no because uh, it happened while I was just backing up from my driveway <laughs> you know so I, I, I guess they were trying to uh, make me admit that I hit a pothole so if I say yes you know they may not make the repairs you know that's insane you know I mean how can you even uh, ask me that uh, especially knowing that this is a known issue with the car so you know it's not like my car is the only one with that issue you know a lot of people a lot of you guys had that issue um, with your car so but uh, anyways I'm glad they fixed it um, you know because since my car is under warranty you know if my car was out of warranty I understand you know but with it being in the warranty and uh, 
you know my I take care of my car you know I mean I don't abuse it or especially in Florida we hardly see potholes here <laughs> nice clean roads you know but uh, anyways I'm kind of glad it got fixed you know so one thing I did not see on there is uh, if they did an alignment or not it just says alignment check so I'm not even sure if they did a proper alignment or not but the car is running fine as of right now so I'm hoping that I don't have any alignment issues later on I guess I'll just keep an eye on my tires and uh, that's it guys you know now one of the things I'm gonna tell you is uh, the loaner I had was a model 3 and I drove it for a few days and coming back to a model s I can definitely feel the difference oh my god it's like day and night driving this car it's much more smoother I, I'm not sure if it's because I have air suspension that's why I'm feeling it so smooth but the ride quality is just amazing on this car I don't know I, I feel it more quieter more uh, luxurious you know and I think overall I, I like I like it you know never I in fact enjoyed having the model 3 at first you know when I drove it but been driving it for a while and then driving this you know I felt a lot more like you know much bigger difference than when I drove this car to the lot and picked up the model 3 so you know it's uh, it's amazing you know if you go back from a kind of like not as luxury car to a nice luxury car like model s you feel the difference much better versus you know uh driving the model s for a while and then going to model 3 you know um i couldn't really compare it but i guess uh everybody is uh, wired differently so you guys may have a different experience you know than i did but uh anyways i'm glad uh, i got this fixed and hopefully if you guys have any suspension issues you know this will uh, help you get to the right part and uh, get it replaced so guys if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you